Last week we brought you a story about how some students created a petition to bring football back to UTA. But on the other side of the ball, other students created a counter petition to keep football away from UTA. So this is the new petition's creator, Skylar Vasquez. I read about the petition for football and I immediately got concerned. So she made the counter petition and gathered roughly 40 signatures in a week. While the original petition has almost 1,600 more signatures, it also had a month-long head start. But what the counter petitioners lack in numbers, they make up for in passion. Their first argument is that the current athletics doesn't get enough support as is. I don't really think football, bringing football onto campus would be a good idea considering we can't even fill out College Park Center for the sports we already have in place. I've heard basketball players complain about the, there being no crowd there. Their second argument is that it would take resources from other parts of UTA. I'm worried that if we had a football team back then when they were courting a lot of those professors, I don't know if we would have gotten lower quality professors because they were allocating more funds to the football program. And the counter petition supporters have done their research. And so I actually went in and looked at schools that have a football program and their tuition for out-of-state and international students is much higher than UTA. According to some figures from an article um, on ethosreview.org, um, from 2010, in the 2010 um, and 2011 school year, only 22 of the top 120 university football teams actually broke even or made money. Well, the battle lines have been drawn. Now it's your turn to make your opinion known. For UTA News, I'm Joshua Pearson.